It's fine. It's fine. We traded for our mid laner. Wait, what is he doing? <laughs> this man just died to the game right after I saved him. No, no, no. And he blames me for it. Are you serious? Oh my god. What is up beautiful people, it's Celadon here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Masters Rank Conquest as Bacchus support, a company here by Medusa against what looks like a Coca-Cola and Junkui in dual lane, which is a weird pickup. We're playing against Jackson on the Isis in mid, and Noxus as a Erlang Shang in jungle, which are two esports players for Cloud9. Both of them are Masters or Grandmasters, I believe, so... This game might be quite entertaining. Hopefully we will be able to come through. We're starting at the purple, going for the little one right here. Excellent. Trying to apply some of that anti-heal if they're popping potions, that will be quite unhandy. Let's pop horrific here and try to put some damage. We outpush them, so that might be a good idea. But Junkui is really poked out. I'm in trouble, I need to disengage. They're not following because Medusa is in a better health. As soon as I get level 2, I can go for them. I will get a pluck. Good stuff. Oh, he wasted his dash. Medusa's going in, I'm jumping. Double pluck. No, he jumped it, but we can get kill this guy. He popped a sprint as well, and we got a first blood. That's how you do it, boys. I'm Oom, I should warn him. Can I pluck him? No, I don't think so, but he doesn't want to go in, he just takes the experience. Which is understandable. There's nothing in the jungle, the big harpy is totally not worth it, so we're just straight gonna back here and grab a couple mana pots and tier 2 boots. I was hoping Bellona will be able to get the totem for MP5 sustain, but she didn't come through until I backed. Which is fine, we're still able to get the first blood. And Medusa is still in lane full HP and mana because of the totem, so... We're doing really fine over here. They outpushed us uh, on the last wave, so the next wave is coming up. We still need to push it down. We've got all the experience off of this one. They're pushing hard and we're taking the purple, we're a little bit behind. I think they also take the big harpy, which is unfortunate. Gonna grab the totem, MP5, which is uh, something that a lot of people, even as sports players, don't do. And 25 MP5 is a really big deal, guys. Just keep track of the totem. It's like a Kronos pendant, and when you have 300 mana total, it's a lot of MP5. Gonna apply anti-heal, force his stun. Oh, I missed the pluck, but we have the body blocks. I put it down horrific. I'm taking too much damage, unfortunately, because they have a full minion wave. Retreat. Falling back. Looks like Medusa wanted to play it safe, so we're falling back a little bit. I'm okay with that. We missed nothing because they still push like madmen. I would prefer Medusa to freeze this lane. Looks like they want to take our big harpy. It's really not worth it. The only thing they're really gonna get out of it. Off of it. Let's put some anti heal forces stun out of him. Uh, he's transforming. I gotta jump out. I got rooted, but it's fine. They have nothing else. Dude, that guy is literally a bot. Ooh, it looks like Janice is soloing Jackson in the mid lane. Which is quite unfortunate for our man Jackson over there. They got the big fury, but that really does nothing. It gives half experience. And takes a lot of damage to kill. Pluck him up. He didn't juke it this time, but I'm actually out of position. That was a bad pluck. Medusa has nothing to put the damage into him. Looks like Sir Cat's coming up. I have enough mana, but not enough HP. I'm definitely gonna die here, but hoping to get two kills off of that. Let's bait them hard. Pop our ultimate. Let's 
Oh, damn it. I almost survived here. If I survived, that would have been lit, but it's still totally worth it. We got two kills for our support. We now have Talaria, which gives us a lot of MP5. If you see, I just leave the base and pop my uh, one and I have full mana. And it's full mana again because we just dropped the totem from Bellona. Obviously, Bellona have good control over the totem because she's playing against the mage, which doesn't have a good push potential. This is not the kind of mage you want to play in the solo lane, honestly. B. Careful. Got a force is stun? Yeah, there you go. I just cancel and he immediately stun. That wastes a little bit of his mana. Yeah, he doesn't have Talaria, so his mana sustain is not as good. I would prefer Medusa to freeze this lane. I'm level 5 actually. I should be leaving for the mid lane. That's a misplay. But let's just get this wave. Enemy. Mid. And go for the mid. Be careful. Middle. Kukulin's back. Looks like Jean-Kui's rotating mid. That might be really bad for us. <laughs> but I really don't want to leave that Medusa That's alone. Let's tank this for him and just go for the mid. I should have done it before. It looks like Jean Kui rotating killed my mid laner. That was a big misplay by me. Oh, he's taking those. No, we're not gonna allow him. There's a good chance we stun and get those. Exactly. Good stuff. We secured that experience, which is nice. Am I in hell? Oh, look at this. I um, That's what I was talking about. I leave the lane and Medusa gets sold immediately. This is exactly the reason why I didn't want to leave. Let's block him up. He's right over there. Okay, we have our horrific. We get the stun. We pop our ult. So get missed both of our taunts. Janus hit the ult, but he's 1 HP and I easily die for that. Misplays do happen. Nothing we can do about that as a support. Gonna just try and grab that small experience and save him sometimes on the chalice. Your middle tower is under attack. Looks like Janus is poked out really low. Be careful, right. Enemy they battle. might be rotating towards Medusa. I should be there as well. Okay. Can I grab this? Oh, oh thank you so much. <laughs> Look at him stuffing there. He's really salty about it. I would have been too. As a support, putting all that damage and just got it stolen like this. I would have been salty too. Oh, that's a lot of people. Enemies in middle lane. Three. Yeah. Three people in mid. Noxus is clearly looking for the blink there. Right? Does he have a blink? Yeah, he has a blink. Kind of obvious, really. He just circles around the wave, not attacking anything. And I don't want to trust this man. I, I trust he, he can blink and kill me or anyone else. So we're not going to fuck around with that. Let's rotate towards Kukul and maybe get something out of him. Be careful. Hello. That's his jump. He doesn't really waste mana over here. So that, that's a big misplay by me. What am I doing? I need to leave. Okay, we got his ult at least. He's gonna transform. So we forced his ult and transform. But he has to get my horrific. Yeah. He follows. So I have to horrific. We're just gonna back. We got... Oh no. Junkui is over here. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, Let's block Junkui over here. We got a return kill. Like, if I didn't rotate here, Medusa would have just died for free. So at least we have that going for us, I guess. There's a big fight in mid. We should join that. Let's hide over here. If they decide to dive the tower, I can pluck him or stun them. Now, it looks like they haven't warded or seen me beforehand. I just straight up decided to disengage. They have communication with Noxus and Jackson, obviously. So I also should keep that in mind. They might be doing Gold Fury over here. Janus is out of position. He just wastes his portal, which is fine. Looks like he's backing over here. Ooh, Medusa getting caught. 
I dashed away, Jean-Quick cannot really follow that up. I'm gonna ward over here in case she wants to rotate here, I can pluck her. Jackson's being nasty, pretending to rotate. Oh, hello, jean -Kui. Oh, Sir Cat's blinking in. We're gonna join that party. Just ult up, trying to kill her to the best of our ability. Janus ult comes through. We're gonna stun him. No, the stun is not there. It's fine. Ah, uh, Nox is blinking in. That's really bad. Sir Cat got out. Janus is... What the hell is he doing over there? Oh, I need to die for this man. <laughs> Hello, Orlang. No? It's fine. Oh, what, what is he doing? Just let them clear the wave. It's fine. There's nothing in the jungle. He just waited as portal is pushing up. I'm gonna die for this. But let's try and at least save him. We succeeded at that. We're definitely dying. We cannot kill Jean Quiver slows. It's fine. It's fine. We traded for our mid laner. Wait, what is he doing? Okay. That was just this man just died to the game right after I saved him. No, 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 no. And he blames me for it. Are you serious? Oh my god. Well, to be honest, this is kind of how I expected this game to go against uh, two esports players on the comms and stuff. But we're in ranks, so no surrender votes coming from my side. Let's put some pressure on the Freya, maybe. Clearly, this Janus is not gonna take advantage of the, my presence in mid. Let's get an ult off of her. She should ult immediately when I come in. That maybe will allow... Yep, that's an ult. I didn't even stun her. She just straight up ulted. It's fine. Uh, this will allow Bologna more control over this lane. We're leaving now. It's fine. Okay. Looks like Sir Cad got killed and it's somehow also my fault. That's fine. Janice is out of position as well, teleporting into the enemy Phoenix. Uh, he's about to die. Prepare for me to be blamed for that as well. Oh, Medusa. Medusa is also getting rammed here. An ally and it's about to be my fault as well. But I'm not sure though. Medusa's been nice so far. Let's horrific him. Make him take a little bit extra tower shots. No. Let's just stop enabling these trolls and just move on to, with our game. Mute button is there for a reason. Abuse it, guys. Don't engage. Okay, there's good fight in red buff. Hello, jean -Kui. Apply anti-heal. Noxus is chasing me. Okay, that's good. Chase me. Chase me all day. Gonna juke up a little bit, maybe try to survive. Team is fighting in mid. That will allow them to kill jean -Kui. We traded supports. We are very much behind right now. Even of the enemy jean -Kui. I kinda expected this game to go that way because I'm playing support. And I cannot really outplay. Let's check on the Gold Fury. No, they just grabbed the ward. Didn't go for it. Which is weird, considering they have Isis and they have control in jungle. Dropping these really quickly. Like, really, really, really quickly. Just keep him engaged over here. He really wants to back for this some reason. Uh, they are three manning the Lona. She should be dead. I don't think she can escape. Yeah, and he wants to back, so if I keep him here, uh, he won't be able to join other fights, which is the best I can do right now. Nothing in the jungle for me to farm. Just keep him engaged. Keep him salty. Maybe annoy him to the point when he gets salty. Ooh, Sir Cat with a nice steal on the Pyromancer. She pays her life for that. But at least Jackson is not a part of those fights, because I'm keeping him from backing. Colin's out of position, we should be able to kill him. That's my horrific immune, unfortunately. Should have done it after the ult. We're gonna pluck him, we can still deal damage. No, their whole team is rotating here. 
right before I jump, which is unfortunate. Don't really expect the portal off of a Janus. So we're just gonna wiggle our way through here. Your left tower is under attack. I don't think Janus portaled even a single time anyone else but himself. Which is quite unfortunate. They should be doing Gold Fury right now, and there's nothing we can do about that. I'm just gonna plop that free gold over here. And spend a hot minute clearing this camp. All the waves are pushed up. Everyone are present in the lanes. That's the apparently the best XP amount I can get right now. Should keep in mind that this game is just 4k behind. We're not like really, really struggling. But we're getting there. I mean, I can join that fight. Hopefully nobody dies there. Let's go, Ooh, Sir Cat with a double Let's kill. Go, Apparently she landed both of her taunts for once man. and put down all the damage with her one. Some actual impact from her jungler is what I like to see. Trying not to leech off any experience off of our laning, off of our laning teammates. We're gonna get this purple XP though. We're going for Hard Horde over here. I think I should have built Hard Horde before because they have three magical attackers. That might have been a little bit of a misplay, but I just really wanted that HP 5 for sustain. Bologna's going down, jumped by five people. She's for some reason still there, so what else would you expect? I'll hold the left tower, it's fine. Oh, Freya's coming this way. She wants that blue buff. Your left tower is under Looks like she has good warding, so she didn't. That's fine. The blue buff secure. We're gonna grab this wave. Get some experience. That's a lot. And it's also free. They should be doing the fire. That's where she rotated. Oh, it's really low. Janice with an ult. Janice with a steal. We're going in. That's an ult. We're going for Freya. She has no ult. Sir Cat is helping me out. We're plucking four. Nope, we're plucking just one, but it's Isis, which is really cool. Dewarding here. They have vision, which we should disable. Let's try Janus to survive the Erlang. I'm trying to be as annoying as I can. That's a stun. Janus should get out. No, he didn't. It's unfortunate. We're plucking around the corner. Both of them going up. Nice damage by Medusa. The column wasn't able to hold. We're gonna stun him over here. Ah, uh, he goes around the corner. She has a dash again. The root. He's going down. Nice fight, man. Look at the score. We got so much off of that fight. Fortunately, Gold Fury is still down. We, throughout this whole time, we didn't get a timer. Junkui is drastically out of position probably tilted out of his mind doing this bullshit gonna chase him down not allow him to back nothing on the map in the jungle or anywhere so we got all the time in the world here my man i'm so gonna chase you too believe me my man nothing on the map where you would rather be instead so just give me that free golden experience might as well taunt him while i'm at it Got into a portal, he takes the two to the face. We are actually 2k gold ahead right now. They were so ahead, but so safe at the same time. So when they actually got through with the re revenge kills and stuff like that, we got so much off of it. And we also have the fire giant. Janus dies to two people because he's out of position again. Prepare me getting blamed. Oh wait, I muted him a long time ago, as you guys also should. I opted for Pestilence here, by the way, because they have three magical attackers and every single god have some massive healing in their kit. Isis ult, Kukulin. Let's go for Freya here. She should straight up die. We're blinking in with a stun and then we're plucking her. She won't be able, even able to ult. Yeah, she didn't. We're tanking the tower here. If you do it in this order, the knockup actually doesn't have diminishing returns. If you do it in the reverse order, your stun from your three is gonna be shorter, so you should always, if you have an ability, do that in this order. First you stun, then you pluck them. 
They got the gold fury. We can take a phoenix here. They're pushing our tier two because they're mad. We're definitely taking a phoenix over here. I don't know what they're doing. My team actually listened to me for once, and we're gonna get a phoenix off of that. They're still pushing right. Genesis fighting. We should keep fighting here. That's our Aegis. Let's keep her busy. Just not allow her to put that damage up. That's it. We got a Phoenix. Janice died for it, but looks like they cannot push right lane. Bellona and Serket both backed. Noxus is salty right there. I don't know if I mentioned already, but esports players have a good tendency being really good players and the really good players have one trait in common. I also have it to some extent. We get, they get really salty really fast. So this was a good example of being salty. They really wanted to base races for no reason when we have a whole team in our side and they have just two people there. And that didn't work out for them. We're actually now both in gold experience and objectively ahead of them. Considering the situation 10 minutes ago, it's hard to believe. Yeah, this is a classic dick move of someone being salty. Living one minion like that. And that's really, really good for us right now. Junkweed's actually out of position here. Like, big time. But we don't have vision on anyone else, so I respect the fact that my team didn't move up onto that. We might not burn him in time. They still need to keep in mind that it's a mage with no mobility as a support, so... Let's ward it up. Fire Giant is up. We have good warding here. Let's keep him entertained over here while my team is going for Fire Giant. He's an ADC, but he's a really tanky at that, so he cannot really burn me down fast enough. Oh, Noxus, what are you doing, my man? You should not be here. Let's chase him down. Fire Giant is up. We can chase him down. His bubble is down by Bellona's 3. We keep him entertained here. We gotta ult him very soon, as soon as the silence went off. The Horrific came through. He's still slowed. I have enough anti-heal with my 3. He's in trouble. If we win this fight, we win the game. Go for Isis here. That's a stun, that's all the damage into me. Those whoops are really coming through like an Aegis for me, thank you so much. Please no body blocks, thank you. Damn those whoops. This Freya is our ticket to win this game, I feel like. We're gonna get a Phoenix off of that. I'm gonna tank like four shots, I think, with my one. Yeah, good enough. We get almost free. No, no free. Blocking two people up. Gonna get some stuns. Ooh, Noxus with the beats. He's tilted. He's blinking and immediately disengaging. Yeah, that he's like totally tilted. That's exactly was what I was trying to do here. This way. We got so much off of that. We're gonna just straight up back and spend our gold. We have 2k. I feel Noxus is really a problem this game, and he's also really tilted. I anticipate him to go on me all the time next fights. So we're gonna pick up Hide and Emi and Lion to actually prevent dying from him, and also return a lot of damage because Erlang Shang is very, very auto attack based. So we're gonna return a significant amount of damage with that. We have both phoenixes down, the lanes are pushing themselves, I need to group up my team. Unfortunately, they're spread across the map. What we need to do here is group up big time, take a tower and push the right phoenix. Which will also secure the next fire giant fight. But Bellona is trying to defend tier 1 tower on the lane that has fire minions, unfortunately for us. I'm gonna zone this man to the best of my ability, not trying to kill or anything, just allowing Medusa to put down free damage. Janna still tanks the tower for some reason. We really, they want a gold fury now, we need to take the Phoenix, it's free! They have to defend something, or they're gonna lose everything. I'm gonna blink in deep over here, we're blinking deep. That's our ult, the bubble popped on Noxus, we're gonna pluck some people over here, but our horrific just get out. They're all on me. 
Oh, Noxus, hello, you're blinking. Gonna do some ring around the rosy here. He's following me. Look at this. He's losing the game. He's following me. He's so mad. Look at their team. Oh, I'm dead. All right, Noxus, he killed me. Congratulations. Oh my God, he's so tilted. And this game is so over. Now you're the only one alive in the Freya. What you gonna do now? They're not gonna misplay this. We should win the game here. Come on, commit into the Titan. Okay, there's the fire wave. A lot of minions coming in. Good damage by Janus. They have to back off. Can we please commit into the Titan already? Okay, Titan's going down. And there's the game. Oh, like I mentioned, tilting esports players is an actual strategy, unfortunately. And it worked this time. What a great game, man. Even though I was blamed for this Janus dying to the red camp. That's how you play support. You just do your best and hoping for your team to get through. So in terms of builds, uh, we're going to Laria for that MP5 and uh, Gauntlet the Thieves for more HP and some protection aura for our teammates. Ghost of Rindy and Hardware for the same reason, although like I mentioned, I should have went Hardware before. But I really wanted that HP 5 for sustain, so kind of not as bad. But maybe going Hardware before was a better idea because they have three magical attackers. Pestilence for the same idea, they have three magical attackers and every single character in on their team has some uh, form of sustain. Their kid Junkui has a healing fray as it's utilizing a lot of lifesteal. Orlang Shen, insane healing from his ult. Kokolin just in general healing a lot even though he didn't build Glady or Shield as he should. Isis with her ultimate is able to heal a large amount and, all, and also building lifesteal and that heal popping from her uh, lifesteal item as well. In terms of kill participation, we are 15, which is um, almost 75% of our kills, which is a great participation out of me. And also the biggest on the team, uh, right on par there with Sir Cat, who was doing a great deal of impact to this game. Comparing that, that to enemy Jean-Kui, who has this random ass shit build that I'm not even gonna discuss. This is not how you build support. This is not how you build Jean-Kui. This is just, just don't. This is bad, especially bad considering it's master's ranks. And in terms of damage, I have 12k, which is exactly on par with the enemy's support, but that's not exactly where we're looking at. We're looking at mitigated damage and I'm taking 13k more than he did which is very very significant considering that's damage mitigated and our damage taken is actually the same and in terms of wards I put down 11 and he put down a total of 4 which is a really really bad amount. I actually put down more than anyone in the field because I generally tend to ward a lot but when I'm support that's like one of my main priorities as you should be doing. Looking at others damage our ADC is actually on par with the enemy ADC considering this Kukulin that's really weird. Our mid laner is actually out damaging Jackson by quite a significant amount. 10k considering Jackson has 15 is a really really bad situation for him. Bellona actually getting out damaged by Freya 4k and Freya actually just died twice which is kind of didn't feel that way. She had so little impact it felt like we were killing her constantly but we didn't. She was backing enough but her kill participation is 4 out of 21, which is the lowest on the field. And our jungler is surprisingly getting out damaged by Noxus. Well, not surprisingly, but kind of expected. It just felt that our Sir Cat has so much more impact. And Noxus was just getting tilted to the point where he actually lost his team a game by trying to kill me instead of anyone else on the team. He just followed me and I overextend him into the middle lane when he was not able to be a part of the fight and they lost the Phoenix. Everybody else on his team got killed except for Freya who just likes to back whenever he, she gets a little amount of poke and the game was secured. So I think I did a pretty good job as a support and hopefully guys you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel please subscribe to it. It helps me immensely. If you want to ask me a question, leave a comment. I respond to every single comment on my channel. If you like the video, leave a like on the video. It helps the algorithm to show my content to other people, which is much appreciated. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.